travel rebound is real. Take a look at two metrics we've been tracking uh, for the past year. Airport passenger screenings and hotel occupancy rates, both clearly trending upward this year. Uh, one company for which the travel rebound, especially international, is, is absolutely critical, Booking Holdings. It reported first quarter numbers after the bell yesterday. It beat analysts' expectations with a smaller than expected loss. Joining us now is Glenn Fogel, Booking Holdings president and CEO. Glenn, it's, uh, it's great to have you on. And uh, give us the state of the industry. And uh, how much is, uh, unlike an Expedia or a TripAdvisor, how much uh, are you dependent on overseas um, travel rebounding? Well, thanks for having me, Joe. And absolutely, Booking Holdings is a global company. And we need the whole travel industry worldwide recover for us to have a total recovery. And there's no doubt the U.S. is leading the way in terms of recovery. Uh, all the numbers for travel in the U.S. are better than anywhere else in the world right now, albeit maybe Israel. But, of course, that's a very small travel area. So, uh, I mean, I've read that 90 per, what is 90 percent of your bookings outside the U.S.? So it, that's... Not always that way, is it? Or did it, it has been for how long? Well, we gave we gave uh, some stats in our earnings call last night, and we talked pre pre COVID. We were talking about about half our business is European based, and then we were talking about maybe twenty percent or so being in the Asia area, and then the rest of it thirty percent being uh, U.S. and and rest of the world. So it's spread out fairly nicely. And of course, though, we need to have all of these areas to recover before we can have a full recovery. People, you say, uh, you know, passport vaccine and all these, uh, you know, all these different ideas pop into people's heads. But it, I mean, de facto, isn't something like that going to be part of our life? Don't we know that? And it would certainly help booking. I know that you're on the record. Uh, uh, as actually saying that that would be a big benefit for a company like yours and for just people trying to travel globally. Look, we always believe safety in, in travel is very important. And we recognize that uh, some people are always going to be resistant to getting onto a plane or something because they're afraid of a virus. But the fact is people can get ill anywhere around the world. And we just want to make things as safe as possible. As vaccines continue to be distributed throughout the world, People are going to feel safer, and they'll start traveling more and more. And we really look forward to that becoming a state where people don't always be thinking about, oh, is there COVID or is there not COVID, and we just go about our lives. Compared to an Expedia or a TripAdvisor, the, the stock has, has lagged. Um, at, at this point, would you say now's the time? Because it, it, if, if the, we do discount in the future, do you see the rest of the world uh, being able to open it is because it's not I don't think it's a given necessarily that that it, it will immediately follow us uh, because we're, we're having so much more success in, in Europe or, or the UK Israel much more success with the vaccine rollout uh, is to just follow that the rest of the world is going to open up and you you will eventually join them I the think stock. that's absolutely yeah, I mean, you look at the correlation between where the vaccines are being rolled out best, and that's certainly where travel is doing best. And there's no doubt that Europe has had a little bit of a problem in getting its vaccines rolled out. That being said, in the last few weeks, it's picked up very nicely, and we're beginning to see those green shoots. So I am very encouraged about the long run always, but I'm even more encouraged right now to see some of those vaccine rolls being uh, put in place. We, we've... Uh... We've had a long relationship with your company and and the predecessors. Are, are you surprised I looked at the market cap? I, I blown away almost one hundred billion dollars for, for booking holdings, 90 and change. And we've had our relationship. We remember the, the way Priceline used to uh, used to be on. We followed almost every day. I don't know if everyone really remembers that you weren't part of the company back then, were you? I joined the company over 20 years ago, February. Oh, you did. 2020. So I, I remember that collapse uh, from February 2020 to uh, September that you're speaking about, Joe. You know, look, we've had a very long run of improving our process, products, improving our services, being able to provide to consumers what they wanted. And the, the nature of the market is it follows how you're doing. And our numbers have been increasing year over year. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.